Okay, here's the last part, an incomplete re uh, review of Unit H, we've, Part 4. We've saved the toughest ones for the last, so hope you're feeling up to this. Alright, so the first one. Um, here's a spring that's hanging from a ceiling. It's um, completely unstretched. I'm going to take a mass, M, and I'm going to... Um, attach it to there and I'm going to drop it and I'd like to know the maximum distance it will stretch. Let's call that maximum distance D. What will be the maximum distance it will stretch before it comes to rest and then bounces back up. Okay, go ahead and try that. Okay, the maximum distance it will stretch, um, I'm going to, to get that, I'm going to um, call this line my UG equals zero line. And I'm going to find this using E equals E prime. Now the energy it has up here is just potential energy. It's not moving yet. So it'd be MGH, but H is D. So it's MG times D. Um, that will equal. Now the energy, when it gets down here, it's not moving. It's, it's stopped. It's about ready to turn. It, it's ready to turn around and come back up. So it's actually stopped there. It's got no potential energy because that's my zero potential energy, gravitational potential energy um, line. And so the only energy it has is the energy stored in the spring, which is one half K times X squared, but that would be D squared. Okay, we can get rid of one of the D's. And it looks like the D, the maximum distance it will go down, is going to be equal to 2mg over 2mg over uh, k. Okay. Now, um, I want to show you that at the halfway point, the halfway point is where your equilibrium position is. Because at the halfway point, um, let's see what the how much this is stretched. Imagine I put this on now and I just let it come down and it's just going to rest there. I'm not going to let it bounce up and down. It's just going to rest there. Well, if it's resting there, then that means that the free body diagram looks like this. Mg and Kx. And so um, it looks like that is going to be um, that Mg will equal kx. And so x in that case is equal to mg over k. That's how much the spring will be stretched is mg over k. That's our equilibrium position. And look at d is 2mg over k. So this is mg over k and this is 2mg over k. So it looks like our amplitude is just going to be for this motion. The amplitude will just be equal to um, half of this, which would be mg over k. When it's down here, it will be that that amplitude or that amplitude. That Those are both our amplitudes. If I wanted to find um, a function for its position from equilibrium as time goes on, I could say that x is equal to um, a, but a is a uh, a is mg over k, so mg over k times the cosine, if I'm starting at the at um, its farthest away point, cosine of omega t, but omega is k over m. That This equation will be given to you, omega is k over m. And so this will get me the position from equilibrium. This x is how far you are from equilibrium at any time t. And once I know this, now I know I know um, what the speed will be at any time t and what the a, the acceleration, will be at any time t. I know a lot about this system at this point. Okay. Uh, notice that the fastest it gets is when it's here. Because when it's right here, when, whether it's descending, let's say it's descending, um, mg is still the same size when it's a little higher up. I, I'm displacing this this way so that you, we can see the free body diagram. So this mg is equal to that. But kx is smaller because the spring isn't stretched out as much. 
So you see how the it's still accelerating downward when it's coming down, it's still gaining speed. Whereas when it goes by the equilibrium position, mg is the same size again, but kx is bigger. And when kx is bigger, then um, it, it's accelerating upward. All right, so that's that one. Okay, second one. Here is a plate of mass m. It's a square plate, a by a. This is a 90 degree angle. Could you tell me if I suspend this plate by um, this axis and let it oscillate back and forth? So let's think of, you know, if I took a, a book, let's say, and I held it right here and I pulled it back and forth. See how it is oscillating back and forth there? Well, that's what I'm doing with this plate. Can you tell me what the period will be for the oscillation? Okay, go ahead and pause and see if you can try it, if you can find it. Okay, here we are. It's the period is 2 pi times the square root of i over mgd. Okay, I got to get i. Now, i, um, if you look in the back of your ta in your in your book, i for um, a rectangle is 1 12th m times um, a squared plus b squared. But both our sides are a, so that would just be 2a squared. So i is equal to um, 1 6 m a squared. That's the i through the center of mass. But we're not through the center of mass. We're a distance um, removed from that of if this is if this is a over 2 and this is a over 2 then the hypotenuse that distance is um, the square root of a our d in this case is the square root of a square root of 2 times a over 2 that's our d that's what that is and so um, i parallel is going to be 1 6 ma squared plus and now I got to add this additional term m times that squared so that's going to be um, 2a over 4 won't that when I square this one it give me a 2a over 4 so that's 1 half a squared okay what I'll do then is I'll put that into here and um, and I'll solve for that. So the period is going to be this. Now if that's, this should be like 3 6 then. So it gives me 4 6 or 2 thirds ma squared. Mm, I forgot the 2 pi times 2 pi. And then what goes underneath here is m times g. Now d is going to be the square root of 2 times a over 2. So that simplifies and get rid of an m and and so on. Uh, you can get rid of one of the a's. And so that simplifies. Okay, I have um, one other quick one for you. I'm trying to get this done in one video. Okay, here's our system. We pull this back. What's the maximum we can pull this back and, and have it these two not slip? This is frictionless, but there's a mu s on the top and the bottom block. You know what? We are not going to get this done in this video. I am going to put in one more video just to get the just so I have some time to actually do this correctly. Okay, so it won't be a full 10 minutes, but I, but I do need a, a fifth video. All right, bye.